Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Our topic of discussion this week is keep it simple. So when you're on the spiritual path, when you are focusing a lot on personal development and self-growth, you hear of so many tools and techniques and methods and courses and a million of books that can help you to grow. And sometimes it gets overwhelming because you could try one method and then a friend will come along and say, have you heard about this different method? I had that. It's so much better. It gets you more connected. And then somebody else will say, no, but there's this method that comes from Tibet and they do this and they do that. And this helps you to get more connected. And then somebody else will come and tell you a different method from India, from, you know, South America. And there's just so much information and sometimes we get lost in the technique that we actually forget the reason why we're learning something which is to actually use it on ourselves to become a better version of ourselves and so i thought it would be a good idea for us to discuss how to just simplify things to declutter so to speak from all of these different methods and techniques and just use simple methods to help you along your path to yourself, along your path of personal growth. So let's get started. One of the things that I feel are most important to remember is that you're moving forward in some way. If every single day you're doing something that helps you to move forward, then you're doing something right. It doesn't really matter what tool or technique you're using, but as long as you are connecting and moving towards a better version of yourself every single day, then you're actually on the right path. And so when you get overwhelmed, just go back to the basics and ask yourself, am I moving forward in some way? Have I let things go or have I grown, you know, significantly in some way? And if you're doing that, then you're doing something right. Today, I have three C's for you that we are going to discuss that I think really help us to keep things simple. The first one being connection. Every single day, find some way of connecting to the source of all things. Because I believe that as human beings, this is what we're really searching for. We really want to understand who we are, where we come from and why we are here. And we get these answers by connecting to the source of everything that is. And different people have different names for this. God, love, divine presence. It doesn't really matter what you call it. But find a way each single day of connecting to this presence. Connecting to this essence which is actually a part of you. And honor that. If you can get connected every single day for a few minutes. Then that's all you need. The second thing is compassion. And by compassion, I mean compassion towards yourself. We so easily give compassion or are compassionate towards other people, and yet we can be really harsh on ourselves. If your best friend came to you and she had done something horrible to someone, you would defend them because they are your friend. And you know all the loving things that they do and the loving traits that they have. And so you would help them to see themselves as love. You would say, don't worry, darling, you just made a mistake. Just let it go. Just apologize and leave it. It happens to everybody. These things are common. How could you have known? You would say anything and do everything for them to help them to just feel better and to know that it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. And yet, if you were to do the same thing, make the same mistake, you would be a lot harsher on yourself because you just wouldn't believe that you did something like that. You would call yourself stupid, you'd call yourself down, you say, I can't believe I ever thought that way, or I can't believe I had this negative reaction coming out of me. And yet, it does happen, just like you would say to your best friend. And so we have to adopt this attitude of compassion towards ourselves, because we are as important as the next person is, we are as loving as the next person is and we matter as much as the next person does. So if somebody else deserves compassion and kindness, so do you. And you have to start practicing giving yourself that love, 
that compassion, that kindness, because it's actually hardest to forgive yourself than it is to forgive other people. So each and every single day, find something that you just forgive yourself for. I didn't finish all the things on my to-do list. It's okay. I said something negative to someone and I didn't mean it. It's okay. I reacted in a way that I didn't even think was possible. It's okay. Just let it go. Be compassionate towards yourself. And then the third C is consistency. Whatever method, whatever tool, whatever technique you use to connect to your being, do that consistently. Some people like to practice yoga, some people like to dance, some people go for a walk. It doesn't matter, but whatever you choose, just do it every single day. It's so much better to get connected daily for a short amount of time, like five minutes, than it is for you to sit there for two, three months doing nothing and then go for a retreat for a week and get connected and come back and then do nothing again. You don't reap the same benefits because we are, what we're trying to do by being consistent is to cultivate present moment awareness, which is something that kind of eludes us as people. We are always in the future or in the past and hardly ever really here. And what we want, where we can find the source of all things is in the now. And so we want to practice being aware in every moment. And to do this, we have to practice every day. And if you consistently do something consistently connect, then it becomes a part of you. And then you find one day, oh, I'm actually somebody who's mostly present. So be consistent in whatever way uh, you connect. Be consistent in however you calm yourself down or you get connected to your core being. So remember to connect daily in some way to the source of all things to have compassion towards yourself and to be consistent in your method of connecting to everything. Be consistent. <laughs> so this is the message that I had for you this week. I hope that you find it helpful and that it can help you to simplify things. If you find yourself getting overwhelmed, just remember to go back to the basics. Sometimes it's okay to say, you know what, for this moment, I've learned too many techniques. I'm just going to pick one that I feel resonates the most with me and use that as my way of connecting. We don't have to learn everything and know everything. We are always learning. We are always growing in some way. And so be patient with yourself on this journey and be compassionate towards yourself, understanding that you're doing the very best that you can at this moment and that's all you can ever really do. So have a beautiful week. Hope to see you in the comments. Let me know how you keep things simple, how you scale down when things become overwhelming. And let's share with one another to help our community to always feel connected and to always feel the love and compassion, especially towards ourselves because we need it and we are as important as the next person is. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings and hoping that you have a lovely week full of miracles, full of amazing things uh, that you are not expecting that just help you to feel better. If you are in Shanghai, please come and check out the Healing Arts Festival that is happening on Sunday, the 26th of October at Jiaxia Market starting from 11 in the morning to 4 p.m. It's going to be a place where different practitioners in the healing arts are going to showcase their work. And so you have people who are doing energy healing, such as Reiki, like myself. You have people who are meditation teachers, people who practice Chinese traditional medicine, people who practice Qigong, people who do many other kinds of healing modalities, health and nutrition. People are going to be there, dancers who use dance as a way of connecting. It's packed with so much goodness, you don't want to miss it. So if you have the time, please come down and support us and see 
uh, how many people there actually are in this community, in this city, you'll be really amazed. So hope to see you there. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Namaste.